Good afternoon, Jaguar Battalion. I am Cadet Ong, OIC for Platoon Ambush Lab, and today we'll be going over Platoon Ambush. We'll be doing so in six steps. Order of movement, set up ORP to security halt, leaders recon, movement to the objective, execute, and specialty teams, and withdrawal. So the first step to Platoon Ambush will be order of movement. In the order of movement, the leading element will be the security squad. Under security squad will be gun one, followed by the PL and the RTO. The middle element will be consisted of the assault one element, followed by the gun two and the PSG. And in the rear element will be assault two, leading to the objective. So before moving to the objective, you need to set up an ORP or a security hall. In order to conduct the ORP, we're going to call a ham and art signal for halt, which is this. From there, we're going to call the cigar shaped ORP or security halt, which would be the ham and art signal, will be this. From there, security will go to from the very peak of the cigar shape, alpha side will be on the left, and security bravo will be on the right. Gun 1 will move all the way to the top of the cigar shape, while gun 2 will be at the very most rear. Assault 1 from top to bottom will be on the left side of the cigar shape, and assault 2 will be on the right. Once the squad leaders get everything situated, they're going to meet in the middle with the PSG, RTO, and the PL. And that will be your RP cigar shape. Once the RP is established, the PO will be getting ready to go on a leader's recon. In the leader's recon, the PO will be taking six from security squad himself, the RTO, assault one and two squad leader, and the weasel, which is the weapon squad leader, for a total of 11 people. Once you have consolidated all 11 people, he's going to bring them to the middle and getting ready to head out to check out to survey the objective. Before leaving the RP, he's going to get with the PSG so the PSG can count him out. Before he leaves the PSG, the PSG uh, he's going to give the PSG a gatwa, which will be where he's going, others he's taking with him, time he'll be back, what to do if he's not back in time, actions to take if he takes attack, and actions to take if the RP takes attack. Once that's all done and the PSG counts him out, the PL and the leader's recon will head up to the objective to survey it. 50 meters before reaching the objective, the PO will drop a surveillance and observation team, one facing towards the direction of the ORP, and one facing towards the objective, for a total of two people. He's going to leave them another Gawa, explain the same situation, where they're going, others taking with, time move back, etc. Once he's given the Gawa, the PO and the rest of the leader's recon will move up to the objective. They're gonna get online. They're gonna conduct SEALs. SEALs is stop, look, listen, smell. That's hand and arm signal for that will be this. Once that's done, once SEALs is completed, the PL and the RTO will start, will start to emplace their security left and right flank. Once security left and security right is set, the PL will also give them a Gawa and then the PL and the rest of the leaders recon will start heading back for those who have not already been in place. Security, like the SNO, security left and security right will stay in place. And then he heads back to the RP. So after the PL and the leaders recon comes back to the RP, they're gonna pick everybody up. Those who will only be remaining at the RP will be the leftover security squad members as they will be guarding any type of sensitive equipment at that ORP, as everyone will be coming back after the mission's over. So he's gonna leave them, the, the PL will leave them the Gawa, and from there, the PL and the rest of the platoon will head to the first checkpoint, which would be the SNO team. After they hit the SNO team, the PL will establish where the support line will be and the assault team element. The PSG will stay behind the support element as the PL and the RTO will stay with the assaulting element. And that will be movement to the objective. 
Once all elements have been set, <clears throat> the PO will then wait on the flank security to determine the direction of where the enemy is coming. Once the direction of the enemy has been determined and they're on their way towards the road where the platoon is facing, the PO will wait until he gets full visual contact of the whole entire enemy. Once he feels like he's in a good situation to initiate fire, he will using his highest producing casualty weapon, which usually will be the Claymore on hand, or it can either be the 240s or just him firing his rifle. Once initiation has been conducted by the PL, everybody will start firing for at least a minute, which is also called the Mad Minute. Once a minute has been passed up, the PL will call for a ceasefire once you realize everything's been neutralized. After the ceasefire, the PL, as along with the Assault 1 and 2 element, will start assaulting through the kill zone, while the PL stays between the Assault 1 and 2 element to take command and control. Once you reach that limit of advance, they're going to call for a 360 security perimeter, as the PL will be with that assaulting element and the PSU will stay with the support at all times while the support pulls that rear. Once that limit of advance has been reached and 360 has been secured, the PO will then initiate specialty teams. He's going to first call up EPW. Once EPW is cleared, he's going to call Aiden Litter. After Aiden Litter is cleared, He's going to call up his demo team. From there, you need to know their withdrawal plans. Withdrawal plans will be red. When he calls red, the PL calls red. Assault team element will all step off. After that, white will be the support element and blue for security. After that, they're going to all step off back to the ORP and then reconsolidate and call up their zip rep. And that will be platoon ambush.